In 2021, people are more concerned about health. But apart from damaging the ears, there are many other reasons to get bone conduction headphones. Today, we are going to have a look at the Nyanka Last Bone Conduction Headphones. Welcome to the review of Nyanka Runner Cheek. Welcome, Thiago here. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of tech reviews and unboxings like this one. If that's something that interests you, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. With this said, let's start the review of the Nyanka Runner Cheek. Starting with the price, the Nyanka Runner Cheek came at $57.19. Like always, I will leave links in the video description. Please check them out for best price. These headphones are really well built. And when you pick them up, it feels really premium. The headphones are made of aviation grade materials. With the titanium alloy frame. And the majority of the headphones are covered by a skin friendly food grade silicon. Very expensive words. So, for the normal human beings, they look great, they are resistant and they are comfortable on your skin. Looking at the design, the Nyanka Run Cheek are designed like the previous ones and similar to the most bone conduction headphones. With a band around your neck, the control model on the sides and the diaphragm at the front. To use these headphones, instead of putting them on top of your ears, like the traditional ones do, you put them in front of your ears, where the temples are. The headphone will then generate a vibration into your head and into your jaw, going directly into the inner ear. And that's why bone conduction headphones are good for your ears, because the music will not go directly into your eardrums. And because of that as well, that will help a lot of people with ear problems. On the left module, you have the Nyanka branding, and on the right module, the contacts to charge your headphones inside. Outside, the headphone controls like the power button and the volume controls. Let's see some of the specs now, and let me tell you that the Runner Cheek comes with some decent specs. It comes with Bluetooth 5.0. I was not able to check the codex that chip supports, but because it's not going to be in your ears, the codex are a bit overkill. The runner chip has also IPX6 water resistant rating, so caught under the rain or even having a shower is possible, but you shouldn't be swimming with them. Bone conduction headphones have a problem at high volumes and Nyanka are not different, however, they have something called the OT leakage reduction, so there are no holes on the design of the headphones to leak audio at lower volumes, but when you go above 70%, you will get quite a lot of leakage. There is also support for multi-point connectivity, you can connect it to two devices at the same time, seamless switching and multitasking without stress. Sound quality is an obvious problem for most bone conduction headphones, but in my opinion, if you are looking for one of these, sound quality is not the first concern for you. The Runner Cheek actually sounds pretty nice for bone conduction headphones. Bass is not there, and the definition in the mids and highs is not the best, but the audio comes through really nicely. If you use earplugs provided, you'll get improved sound quality, like more bass and definition. But the sound still sounds a bit muffled, but you need to keep in mind that this headphone sound doesn't go on your sensitive eardrums. So, you are asking, why should we use it if the sound is not the best? Well, there are many reasons, with the first one being health, because it's not going to your ears, so you will be not damaging your ears. Another good reason is the fact that you can hear all the surrounding. So, these headphones are great to exercise, where you need to speak with someone exercising with you, for example, 
or to be aware of the surroundings on a big city when exercising. Next, we have the call quality. Please be the judge on the call quality outside and inside and let me know in the comments what you think. Right guys, so this is the sound uh, coming from the runner cheek uh, from Nyanka. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the microphone. So this is all different pair of earbuds or headphones, whatever you want to call it. So let me know in the comments if the sound is any good. We're going to go outside now and see how they perform outside. Right, so this is the <coughs> voice. Right, guys. So this is the sound outside. Um, it's a bit windy. Uh, I don't know how they perform. I never use uh, headphones like this one. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about the sound outside of that diameter cheek. Run, run cheek. Yeah, guys. We're gonna go back inside to continue the review. These are not your typical headphones for gaming. So for gaming, you'll see some lag. For YouTube and Netflix, they are generally nice. Like most of the headphones, the Runic Cheek gives you all the controls you need for your media controls, like playing or stopping media, volume up and down, and answering phone calls. Bone conduction headphones have a very specific market of people that are looking for them. I will be using them for exercising and further, I think they are great, but please, if you are looking for the best sound quality, these are not the headphones for you. And that's it guys, this was my review on Nyanka Runner Cheek. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Thanks for stopping by, I'm wishing you a great day, I'll catch you later.